Yo guys, what is going on? Today's video is actually going to be pretty cool because whenever I'm streaming, I get a lot of questions asked. How do I mash so fast? What do I do when I'm mashing? Like, what am I pressing? What's that sound I'm hearing? You know, like the, the, the click clicks and stuff. So today I wanted to use this opportunity showing you guys uh, kind of how I mash, how fast I mash, the techniques I use for mashing and an actual ROM that you can use to practice your mashing and test out your mashing speed. So, you know, before I go any further, I mean, let's just jump right in and uh, take a look and see how it is. So I got my controller right here so you guys can see. I don't have like an actual video camera, video camera, so I'm just using my webcam on the table. You can press up or down to select what you wanna do. And like I said, this gives you the option right here to select uh, where you wanna mash and how you wanna mash and well, not how you want to mash, but what button you want to mash with to test your mashing. Now, if you look, they, they have like select, right? So you can see right here with the select and start that, you know, I can see why it's actually a pretty good place to practice your mashing because there's like a, a border around this, right? The little white border here that goes around. I mean, it's, it's really hard to fit your fingers in there. I mean, it'd be hard to mash, you know, really fast or something like that. Down in B, which is very interesting because you're mash, you're, you got to learn how to like mash at the same time with that. That's... I really haven't done much of that, but that's actually very interesting too. Um, and then you got A, B, start, select, down B. Okay. Because I play Mario 3, I like to use B because that's that's where my fingers are going to be when I'm mashing. So I would normally select B. And here's the cool part. You can really test your bursts of speed with this seconds option. You can do it 1, 2, 5, or 10. So if you get one second, I mean... How fast, how fast can you mash, what, the B button? Where's the B? Right there. I keep, I'm doing this backwards here. So so I press start, and I'd have to mash the B in one second. So it's going to load up right there. Woo! Seven, right on. Cool. Okay, so I press start. So it takes me back to the top of the menu again. Again, one player, B button, and then we get to see how many seconds. Me, normally, I like to do 10 seconds, okay? And then I can go down, and then I can press start, and then, you know, you try and... I can't. There's too much. I need to use other buttons and fingers. Sorry, I hit the camera. Look at this. This is like backwards with with my first finger. So seven, my average is 7.2 presses in five seconds. But that's not what you guys hear when you watch me stream. You guys know I can mash faster than that. So if anyone's wondering what exactly it is that I do, I'm going to try and do it in a way where you guys can see this way so I can hold it actually how I'm holding it. I'm sorry I got the mic there, but it's not the end of the world. You guys will survive. So whenever I play Mario 3, you know, I do the standard hold it with the two thumbs. In places where I don't need to move, which, you know, Bowser's Castle is perfect for something like that, um, I like to use both of my thumbs to mash the same button. Now, luckily, I have little, little small little small thumbs, I got lots of room, you know, and what I like to do is I like to mash with two thumbs, okay? Now, I don't, I don't do one thumb up, one thumb down, I don't do this, I don't walk with my thumbs, that's, that takes way too much energy. What I do is I hold the controller on its side, this is going to be really hard, and I set this thumb, and this thumb doesn't move, okay? So I use this thumb, to go up and down. This is the only thumb that moves, is my right thumb. This thumb stays here, it doesn't move. But as I'm going up and down with this thumb, I'm moving the controller. See how I'm pressing? I'm not moving this thumb, I'm moving the controller with my right hand. So I'm going up, down, up, down. Controller's going up, thumb's not moving. It looks like the thumb's moving. And the thumb obviously is moving a little bit because as the controller comes up, the thumb's gonna push down on the button. I can't. I can't hold the controller like this and give you a good example of how that's going to play out, but I'm going to use this opportunity to give you guys a chance to see, you know, how fast I can mash, you know, with a visual. You guys can all hear it, but really, how many times can I press the B button using this technique in 10 seconds? You know, how fast can I actually press? I know you guys can hear it, but really, how fast do I press it? So I have my own PB of how fast I can press, and I'm, I'm like kind of out of breath because I know it's going to take a lot of work. Like, I got to move really fast. Like, it, it, it drains me. My arms get drained and my fingers get drained. But I'm going to see if I can at least achieve my PB. Yeah, with that, with that being said, let's go ahead and give it a try. You're going to hear a lot of mashing because I, I do move very fast whenever I do. Let's get a test. I'm just going to start. I'm just going to, I'm going to use the technique, but I'm going to do it slowly. As you guys can hear, I'm doing it slowly. But I'm still mashing pretty fast though, right? There you go. Almost... 
almost 10 presses in a second, which is pretty good. Okay, now I've warmed myself up. Let's give let's give a good look and see what it's like whenever I go full burst, full blast. Okay, let's let's take a look here. Woo. So, even my even my strategy is foolproof. You can see as the numbers were rising, the gaps between my rhythm uh, going off pace. Luckily, I'm pressing so fast that eventually the rhythm goes back on pace. But 16.4 16 is not bad. 16.4 is not bad. I'm a little I'm a little far off of my PB. So, I think I think that was a real warm up, wasn't it, guys? Let's let's try again here. Let's try again. Let's. Let's give this another go and, and see how it goes. So I'm gonna I'm gonna press start. All right. Deep breaths in and out. Right. All right. Let's give this another try. You can see it slow down a bit. You don't want the slowdown. Ooh, that was worse. This is this is what Mashy Mashy is good for. I can I can come back and practice. Unfortunately, I don't have a video, but my my personal best is 178. That's the best that I can do using that method. I'm sorry I didn't give you guys the best example. If you watch closely, like if you rewind and watch closely a little bit, you can you can see where the numbers. I'm not satisfied. Let's let's do it one more time. I can do it one more time. All right. Maybe we'll try the A button. Let's let's go for the A button for fun. The A button or B button doesn't matter. Just um, to benefit me, it would be better for me to practice on the B button because that's the button I'm using. My mashing speed shouldn't change depending on what button. So let's just yeah, let's go for the A button. looking much better Whew, 168 so I'm, I was 10 off of my personal best but yeah so that's that's kind of how I mash that's kind of what I do you're not gonna be mashing in many parts in games for longer than 10 seconds and if you're standing still using this method will allow you to be uh, have faster mashing than anyone who's gonna be mashing with single finger and that's, that's the whole point of it. It benefits you in places where um, you might as well use both your thumbs to mash as fast as you can. It's all whatever's comfortable. This technique's a little hard because you need a lot of rhythm. You have to have very good timing with your thumbs going up and down, up and down, up and down. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys got to finally get a visual of what it is that I'm doing when you guys hear that crazy mashing. Not very useful in Mario 3. Mario's got a lot of momentum, so there's really no time for me to switch fingers, but when I do things like the crisscross shot for fun, or whenever I'm standing still and you hear the quick shots on the on the overworld map bosses, so the airship bosses, Bowser's kids, I'm using that technique to shoot fireballs as fast as I can. So, hope you guys enjoyed, and thanks for watching. See ya!